sasa hapa ilikuwa na tumia ilikuwa mingi hata kushinda mshara yenye na <laughs> Ina jina hata mshara yenye na lipo huko. Nikawacha kazi. Nikaambia babangu, "Huyu mtu ananitumia pesa juu. Alikuwa ananitumia like in a week ana tumata 8000 saa zingine for si imeshinda huko waitress na alipwa 5500 in a month. So yeye anakutumia mara kaa ine. Eh. Sasa nikimwambia ataki kuelewa. Sasa hii ingine yenye saa mama yake alikuwa anasema ati nimeenda kwa ya, ananivuta kwa room maliniko ndiye anipeleke saa kwa room yake ndiyo nekane nilikuwa huko mm. eh mm. alafu anani threaten na gani mama yake mpaka na gani kwa nyumba alikuwa amekushikia gani si ndio sasa vinyi nilikuwa kwa maji yeye yeah, ajui ku swim na hiyo time ananifuata kwa maji sasa si ndio alafu ananisukuma sasa kwa maji ananisukuma kwa maji like anataka ni drown huko kwa si what sasa namuuliza why are you doing that? Ananiambia no it's just a play. Anamwambia that one is not a play. Kwani unataka ni nini? Ni drown huko na sijui ku swim. Ananiambia keep going, keep going like niko hapo kwa show sasa. Ananiambia tini nizidi kuenda sasa. Na kuna watu wengine around. Eh si kuna watu wengine around lakini na watu sikia wasikio conversation. Eh, um, mtu akili yake ilikuwa anga sawa ama huu ulikuwa unaona ni kama yangusha kidogo. Huu um, mtu Sijui kama kili yake ilikuwa sawa. Yaani pia hata mimi nilishinda kumwelewa. Jiu unajua nani Lin? Ukitaka kujua mtu lazima uishi na yeye utamjua. Sasa mimi ndio sasa nilikuwa kwa hiyo period saku ya kumsoma na kumjua na kumuelewa. Si unaona? Hello and a warm welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, if someone told my guest today she would be bringing up her mixed kids by herself, she would have definitely called you a liar. But the fact that she saw the red flags from the word go in the relationship and still chose to continue with the same man is something that totally bothers her. However, she wants to inspire young girls by her story, especially those who are swayed easily swayed by foreigners in this country and so without further ado please allow me to let her introduce herself mami sasa Wasana. how are you i'm fine uh -huh. karibu to kotox thank you very much for hosting me yes my name is veronica bok yeah. i was uh, born and raised in kibera yeah. kibera slums yeah yeah and then my secondary life i i went uh, in kisumu kisumu county yes. shule gani kisumu nyalunya yeah. nyalunya mix nyalunya mix Mixed, yeah uh -huh. secondary school yeah yeah okay na uli raiseiwa uki raiseiwa up uli raiseiwa kwa family ya aina gani okay nime raiseiwa kwa family naweza sema ni ile family ya chini mm -hmm. yeah alafu kwetu tuko watoto wa tisa so au ambele wakubwa walikufa So mimi ndio nimebaki kama first born sasa. Okay. So when you wamebaki a life size it kwa tisa. Mko wa tisa. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when ndio kama first born yeah. sasa. Yeah, mimi ndio nilibaki kama first born juu wao wengine wakubwa walikufa. Okay. Yeah. Na mom na dad walikuwa wanafanya kazi gani? My mom hiyo time when uh, nilikuwa kibera alikuwa anafanya kazi ya kuuza samaki. Mm. Alafu my dad alikuwa anafanya kwa kampuni nyingine hapo industrial mm. industrial area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, sikujua ni kazi gani but nilikuwa na, na, anafanya morph welding mm. job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But shule waliwapeleka. Eh shule walitupeleka alafu unajua kibera pale kuna ma organization zingine zina sponsor watoto wenye yeah. wajiwezi. Yeah. So hivyo hivyo tu tukanini tukasoma kamaliza sasa hiyo time yenye sana nilikuwa nenda nini nilikuwa nenda tulikuwa tunenda ushago mm. my dad sasa li lose kazi yake hiyo alikuwa anafanya so mm. ikakuwa ngumu ku raise nine kids mm. <laughs> juu mom peke yake ndio sasa alikuwa breadwinner mm. sasa ikabidi tu tumeenda ushago wote yes. na hiyo time nilipata kaa nishafanya class 8 mm. so nika join two from one oh, from okay. home huko ushago yes. na nikulize mm. mbona umeamua kushare story yako leo nimeamua kushare hii story because i'm very sure hapa tu Kenya ama maybe kwingine there's somebody mwenye anapitia the same thing that anapitia but amenyamazia mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Tueleze story yako. So after kusoma nilimaliza alafu sasa my dad si alikuwa amebaki huko baada kisaka saka job alafu nika nikimaliza form 4 akaniambia ni nikuje sana Nairobi. Nikarudi nika Nairobi sasa tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye nikaanza kutafuta vibarua sasa. 
sasa kwa hiyo harakati ya kupata vibarua before nipate hiyo saka zingine ya ya hoteli nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya house girl mm. so nikafanya fanya kazi ya house girl alafu baadaye with connection and some friends nikapata hiyo kazi sasa ya hoteli mm. iko hapo Adam Sakid mm -hmm. sasa that very day yenye nilichukuliwa hapo sasa za waitress mm. ndio huyo huyo nani huyo mzungu akakuja sasa kwa hiyo hoteli but amekuwa kikuja but ilikuwa ile coincidence mm. sasa nimekuja ni waitress na yeye pia amekuja mm. kukula tu sasa mm. Sasa venye nilikutana na huyu mtu you know ile ile first time we ni mgeni au juu management yani venye nendelea mm, hapo yeah. sasa ile nilikuwa na uoga but yeye alikuwa anataka niongelee aniongeleshe juu yeah. ameniona tu for the first time yeah. so akaambia akapatia one of the sasa waitress mm. anipatie sasa namba yake mm. sasa that way si communication itakuwa maybe easier mm. Hiyo time I didn't have a smartphone. Ulikuwa na kabambe. Nilikuwa na kaduda. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hey. So hiyo kaduda so si unajua ile lazima mpige tu ile call ya kawaida it's hmm. not easy to reach maybe through WhatsApp hmm. or Facebook. In that very day nilinipea siku mcontact. The next day so you are still excited about cars utaki vitu zingine zenye yes. zita kud nini ku distract. Hey. Sasa the, uh, the third day ndo sana kam mpigia sasa. After kumpigia alafu saa from there tukaanza saa kuo, mm. kuonge. So hiyo time yenye tulikuwa tuna meet na ye, ilipata kama already visa yake ilikuwa imebaki na some few weeks mm. expire alafu mm. arudi kwao. Mm -hmm. So nikikutana niki na hiyo time alikuwa na rent alikuwa na rentisha mm. Hoodley Estate. Mm. So nikatoka nilikuwa natoka job jioni alafu napitia pale Hoodley juni karibu mm. ndo niende home kwetu sasa mm. Kibera. Mm. So tukawa tuna tunafanya tuna hivyo for some time alafu ndio saka fly akaru akarudi akarudi kwa but hiyo time ali meet pia my dad okay ebu kiturudi nyuma kidogo mm. so hii hara hii ilichukua muda gani mm. mshaanza kuongea amesha meet mpaka your dad na huu ulikuwa na mfeel ah si vile but yeah. i think ni pressure ya sasa ni ni mabeshti okay. oh umeangukia si nini nini ni, ni, ni. eh, yes alafu my i I want to say pia my parents were somehow excited mm -hmm. alafu walikuwa na ile expectations high. Okay, yeah. mtoto wetu amepata yeah. mzungu yeah. hapa. Yeah, but hiyo time I was not ready for a relationship anyway, mm -hmm. but pressure. Alafu ile eventually nilikuja nikampenda. Mm -hmm. Sasa hiyo time tuka nini? Tuka tuka date niseme hivyo mm -hmm. <laughs> for some two to three weeks alafu ya karu akarudi aka but within that period i meet my parents Ay. yeah na dada kuulizi huyu mtu me meet mda mdogo sana dada anasema nini uh, yeye yeah, aku aliniambia tu pima huyo mtu but nikimwangalia kae mtu mba mbaya because huyo mtu alikuwa al, al, anatoka hadi nini udli kwake sasa mm. anakuja hadi kwetu kwa ndani kibera mm. bila hata ile huyo kuogopa sasa mm sasa mpaka tunakula together so my dad alikuwa maybe sama convinced huu mtu ni mtu mzuri yeah so unajua hiyo time sasa silipata kaa pia naenda kazi ye pia narudi so communication tukakati kiasi juu ya na travel na rudi mimi mm. pia niko busy na kazi mm. sasa venye alirudi tulikuwa bado tunaongea akani nini na pia alikuwa ananitumia pesa za upkeep tu mm. sasa upkeep yenye nilikuwa natumia ilikuwa mingi hata kushinda mshara yenye na <laughs> Imagine hata mshara yenye nalipoko nikawacha kazi. Nikaambia babangu, huyu mtu ananitumia pesa juu. Alikuwa ananitumia like in a week anatumia hata 8000 sasa zingine for si imeshinda huko waitress na alipo 5500. In a month. So yeye anakutumia mara ka 4. So hiyo time ilikuwa 2013. So eh nasema hii naacha kazi so i could even support my parents so unajua hiyo expect expectations zao ziko juu sana eh. juu anaona huu mtu hata tujamjua vile <laughs> na amerudi kwao na baada na kutumia pesa tumeongoka tumeangukia okay. <laughs> so communication ikaendelea na tumatuma mm. pesa kaniambia mm. nao nimekaa Kenya for a very long time hiyo ndo time nilijua kuombe huu mtu amekaa Kenya mm amekuja ame Kenya thrice. Mm -hmm. six months six months six months so mm -hmm. ni mtu mwenye anajua Kenya vizu, mm -hmm. vizuri vizuri hiyo time mimi nilipata yes nimereziwa nini nimereziwa Kibera 
but sasa si anafikiranga kuna venye ukirezi wa kibera kuna yani uko na ujuaji fulani mm. so tulikuwa tunapotea mpaka tao tumeenda house <laughs> na yeye anajua sasa nini direction oh, sasa so alikuwa amechanuka imagine na mimi sijui na mimi ndio sawa Nairobi mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, akaniambia sasa Jumi nimekaa Kenya na najua kona zote. I was like, eh, kona zote aje anajua ke, nini? Alikuwa anafanya kazi gani Kenya? Alikuwa anafanya na nini? Kuna organization ya NGO inaitwa mm. Kibera Hamlet. Okay. So alikuwa one of the sponsors. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, si akaniambia now that mimi nimekuja Kenya na nime nimejua Kenya. Sasa na we pia nataka ukuje kwetu uka uone kwetu venye kuna kaa. Na kwao ni wapi? Kwao ni Chile. Chile. Yeah, South okay. America. Eh. Sasa si hiyo nilikuwa na hiyo excited. Naenda majuu. Kabisa nikaanza kwa kuambia my parents, friends, nini nini and they were very happy. Mm. Sasa si tu akanitumia pesa nika process nini passport, visa, nini nini zote. We. Ufila pana hizi vitu zinasonga haraka sana. Hapana, hata sikufili. Alafu pia mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa excited si nimepata mzungu. <laughs> Ile anya sija sijatumia sija nini effort mingi kupata amejileta tu. Sasa si akaku akanini akanitumia kila kitu nika process kila kitu. Embassy ilinipatia one month visa. Mm. Tukapanga safari sasa naenda naenda Chile. Chile sasa. Hiyo ni a month after me. Mm. Ameenda sasa. Hiyo ndilikuwa first time yangu kupanda ndege. <laughs> Ilikuwa aje <laughs> uko ndani? Uko ndani. Sasa jua hata sijaingia kwa ya. <laughs> hata sijui nikisikia wanasema sijui matamino, sijui ni haki niko huko nazunguka sijui hata ni. ni. <laughs> Sasa nilikuwa nauliza do mi, mi kama sijui kitu si, sijui kujifanya. Mm. Nauliza tu nika ikaenda through nikafika Chile. Sasa kufika huko yende alifa kunipika. Nikangoja, nikangoja. Sasa so, unajua ukifika huko mimi sikujua ati ukiwa na simu card ya Kenya kule sasa haiwezi fanya. <laughs> mimi nashinda nikimpigia safari kwa mtaki kufikisha kulia. <laughs> Imagine, alafu sasa nikufika huko ili kwa trouble juu au anaongea Spanish. Ukiongea kizungu, yani ni yani ni kama ile wako like huu mtu anaongea lugha gani? na ukipata mwenye anaongea kizungu yani ni ngumu sana. Mm-hmm. So mi uko na waongelesha kizungu hata wanisiki. Sasa unajua ukifika hapo lazima upite kwa hiyo immigration whatever mm-hmm. alafu ndio wako mm-hmm. wako allow sa unini. Mm-hmm. So wananiuliza mwenye anakuja kunipick. Mwenye kuja kunipick na jaribu kumfikia I end it through so I gave them hiyo namba yake so okay. ampige. Yeah. Ali take time ju si already alikuwa anajua anakuja which means nafaa kumpata hapo mm. mm. ili take karibu 4 hours ndio akaku akakuja sasa sasa watu wanani wanani wana threaten na kunideport na if there's no one who is receiving you see you will deport you back to your country sijui nini 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 but ali ali nini alikuja akan finally yeah mm. alikuja akanichukua so kukuja kunichukua alifaa kuja na gari yake sana nichukue from the airport ananiambia ati alikuwa na issues na mama yake mama yake hakuwa anataka kuja na gari na gari ni yake akuja nichukue airport so alitafuta means nyingine sasa hiyo taxi mm. ndio sasa afike ndio maana amechelewa sasa nikaelewa tu nikaingia kwa gari tukaenda mpaka kwa nyumba alifurahi kukuona Yes ali fry. Okay. That one is for real. Alikuwa amefry. But sasa mama yake aku 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 nipenda kabisa kabisa. Ile yenye mgeni amekuja tu jai meet siku na ile hata una pretend tu hata kama umpendi. Eh venye ulifika huko. Yeah, venye nilifika hivi hata akukuja kunisalimia venye alienda tu akajifungia saa kwa room yake ndio baadaye sasa alikuwa mama yake. Na... Yes. Eh. Na other family members pia walikuwa the uncle, sijui na niece na wengine wenye sikuwa na wajua alafu unajua si rahisi pia interact na juu juu hiyo lugha yao kama k- kuna kitu maybe unataka lazima u, uambie huyu huyu nani huyu boyfriend sasa mm. juu ende mm. anajua kizungu mm. nikakaa tu but nikaona reception si si poa vile hata hao wengine walikuwa na pretend tu but so you know you can feel it ulimuuliza kwa nini mamake akusalimi yes anasema ti mamake anakuanga hivyo mm. so nikasema mm, after all niko hapa for just a month nitavumili nitavumilia nikakaa nikakaa ka baada tuelewani ile tu kuna tu attack ya tuguze vitu zake ukienda kwa jikona na kufuata huko sijui alikuwa anafikiria maybe i can poison them or something i don't know 
but hakuwa nataka nifanye anything mimi nikae tu na nikule na huku Kenya alikuwa so venye alikuwa Kenya na mm. venye umeenda ukampata Chile mm. ni two different people yes so hiyo time yenye nilifika siku aliniambia tinioge tu alafu ni ni nilale mm. juu ilikuwa very long trip mm. ilichukua two days mm-hmm. So nikafanya hivyo sasa kesho we sasa si sasa nilikuwa nataka sana hata kama ni mapicha sasa nianze kupiga picha ni post yani nipigie wazazi wangu watu <laughs> Yes uh-huh. nimefika sasa uh-huh. Sasa si hapo sasa kumwambia sana nipatie maybe sim card juu sasa si I need to call my people uh-huh. niwambie nilifika uh-huh. na niko sawa wasikue wared nikaona hapo wanalengesha tu wataki uh-huh ikafika time sasa ilikuwa inaniuma sana nikamwambia i want to reach my people niwaambie nilifika nilifika poa because it was now serious sasa uh, bado tunaona tu anakataa ananiambia you are okay here hakuna haja kupigia ku stress wazazi wako nikamwambia so nikambi... ataki upigie baba kumwambia yes. umeshafika siku uh, siku pata hiyo nafasi ya kuwapigia niwaambie nilishafi Nili, nilifika sasa sasa ikawa inanisumbua juu najua babangu pengine ako worried juu nilienda hata si hakuna communication nikakuwa na insist sasa hiyo the third day sasa akaniambia ti tunaenda out sasa sasa hiyo kwenda out sina nazungushwa ni kwa mtani one venye kuna ka from that day sikuwa hiyo na nje tena sasa ikawa niko tu kwa nyu kwa nyumba kuna kutoka na hata ukitoka hakuna venye uta interact na watu naona jua ujui hiyo lugha yao sasa lazima ku lazima kuwe sasa nika insist i want to nataka kuongea na wazazi wangu nataka kuongea na wazazi wangu so kuna time wako na rentals within the compound mm. Mostly foreigners ndio wana nini wana rentisha mm. so there was a tenant mwenye alikuwa na complaint siju wifi yake iko na shida akaenda akatoa hiyo kitabu yenye ameandika mapassword ya kila nyum, kila room na password yake mimi ndio huyo after ye kutoka na kuziacha hapo nikaanza kujaribu hizo password zote juu niko na simu lakini sim card haifanyi which oh, means wifi oh unashanunua saa smartphone yes hiyo mm-hmm. time nyal, eh, nyalikuwa na nitumianga do venye alikuwa ameenda oh. nika buy smartphone mm. sasa sasa nikasema nataka kujaribu hizi password zote najua lazima kuna yenye itafanya hata kama si ya hii nyumba lakini si nyumba ziko hapo mm. within itafanya nikajaribu mm. zote imagine kuna yenye ilingia sasa i was able to reach people through maybe whatsapp and facebook, facebook. sasa the first thing nilifanya kuna mama nilikuwa namfanyia house girl mm. anaishi satellite sasa nika watoto wake wako ngambo sasa us mm. Nika nilikuwa friends na Facebook sasa. Mm. Nika watumia message. Sasa hizo nafanya haraka haraka tu sipatwe. Nika mtumia message Sharon, niko nili, niliendanga pia mimi ngambo lakini siko po, siko po wajuu mtu atataki ni niongeleshe watu wangu. So in case of anything hata wazazi wangu hawezi hawezi jua kenye niendelea huko. Akaniambia hivyo tuma namba ya babako. Si nikamtumia sana namba babangu kwa was, kwa nini kwa Facebook Messenger yeye yeah, yes, saka tumia hiyo akatumia mama yake juu mama yake ako Kenya mm. akamtumia hiyo namba ya babangu akatafuta babangu saa kibera ndio akamwambia hii namba nilitumia na ni mtoto wangu ako nga ako ngambo maybe kuna kumedoka huko juu mm. babangu ndio huyu akatoka akaenda ko, nini embassy juu ni ukweli yako ame hear anything from me since niende mm. ilikuwa already a month shapita sasa mm. sasa si nafaa kuwa nisharudi Kenya sasa sasa si akaenda akasema my daughter lienda Chile lakini si it's, it's been a month sasa lakini ana, tunamtarajia kurudi lakini hajarudi kuna shida gani mm. sasa si ndiye anapigiwa simu sasa mm. sasa hivyo venye anapigiwa simu mm. aniambi na hata ajui nimefikia watu aje ndio babangu akaenda akaleta shida huko mm. jumii siku muambia oh. anything mimi nilijifanya tu nimenyimwa password na nimenyimwa sim card mimi sijui anything na niko tu hapo. Mm. Sasa babangu akaenda akaleta vita huko sasa. Mm. Akawauliza I want my daughter back. Juu alienda for one month na kama bado anakaa huko lazima nijue ni anakaa kwa, mm. kwa sababu gani mm. sasa. Sasa venye babangu alileta shida huko kumbe hivi venye niko kuna nini marriage dates zinafixiwa na mimi siju. Marriage dates za nani zako? Eh yes, si tuna tunaoana na yeye. Na ameshaenda akafix marriage. Si ndio sasa mimi sijui so that it happen within hiyo time yenye bado nitakuwa hapo si itapata ka visa is, isha expire sasa eh. akaenda aka extend visa sasa bila we kujua mimi siambiwi jua kona documents zangu kona kila kitu siezi fanya so pia fanya. passport ulimpatia 
si obvious hata kama hujampatia na uko kwa wenyewe si obvious baada ata, e, ata zi access to bado na alikuta akakuuliza ungetaka kukaa huko for another six no. ama alikuwa anafanya kisiri siri no nafanya kivi yake though kuna watu walikuwa nakuja kwa nyumba i think maybe lawyer or something mwenye mm. alikuwa anamsaidia ku process hizo vitu zangu mm-hmm. Kuna watu walikuwa nakuja kuja kwa nyumba. Hey, Lakini, na wewe kuna kitu uli sign. Hmm? Wewe kuna kitu uli sign. Yes, eh. But sasa imeandikwa in Spanish hata ukisign uju una sign nini. Okay. So I did eh, kuna zenye nilikuwa nimesign. Aha. Uh-huh. Sasa nikakaa huko babangu pia analeta vita anaenda huko karibu kila siku akitoka kazi anapitia kwa Emba. <laughs> so watu wa Emba sinae unajua anapata pressure huko pia wanapiga simu huko. Na mimi aniambie simu zinapigwa. Sasa kuna siku simu ilipigwa asubuhi saa moja. Sasa uko saa moja ni karibu saa saba, mm. saa saba m- usiku. Mm. E, sasa hii simu nikisikia nasikia tu hiyo kizungu ni kama yake ya Kenya. Na siku muuliza. Sasa mimi nangoja niulize ati kuna simu ina imepigwa from nini from your country. Mm. Ebu maybe hata waongeleshe uambie ni nini naendelee mm. inaendelea. Sasa after hiyo simu mimi sijui venye aliwaongeleshe hiyo story kikatulia kabisa kabisa. Aya, sasa si uh, tunaenda kuoana kama sasa leo ananiambia leo ati you know what we are going to get married sijui nini nina kanibaya to gift sasa ndio hata ni star hiyo story hiyo inampea pressure nataka kurudi kwe, kwetu nikabaiwa matbangles viatu sijui handbags nini nini akaniambia ati we have to get married because if we don't get married my mom will be more nini yani atakasirika kabisa So maybe akiona tumeoana sasa atakuwa maybe sama uconvince that mm. tunapenda tupendane atachane na sasa hiyo story maybe atache atache mama yake hako ananipenda ile kabisa kabisa sasa after marriage sasa so, so, mimi so, niko mkaoana yes so after hiyo saa mimi niko tumeoana sasa sasa tunatumirudi kwa nyumba maisha sasa hapo ndio ikakuwa tena ngumu kabisa mlioanaje kuna place mlienda mkavalisha na pete ama eh hey, si ni hiyo nini hiyo ya hiyo ya serikali sasa okay sasa venye tulienda huko hey. juu sasa au aongee kizungu mimi naongea kizungu mm. Sasa si I think kuna tu venye walifanya sawa so, mimi kazi yangu ilikuwa ilikuwa tu ni kusign sasa. Na wewe usemi sikaki kuolewa? Ah? So, oh. eh, na uko kwa wenyewe. Hiyo ndo saa lafu hiyo time ilipata ka I think I was naive alafu nilikuwa pia mdogo saa mtu wa form 4 unaja oh. sina hiyo exposure pia. Alafu sina mtu wa kushare na yeye nimwambie kuna fanyika hivi nifanye aje si unaona. Eh, ulikuwa how old? I think nilikuwa around 19. 19 20 eh? hapo. Okay. Eh, just uh-huh. after form 4 sasa. Eh. Sasa sikuwa na hiyo exposure pia. So mimi kila kitu nikiambiwa ni yes juu pia nilikuwa naogopa. Juu kama watu the mommy was very violent. Sasa naona eh pengine nikifanya hii inaweza cause nini shida kubwa kushinda hiyo yenye already na exist. Ukisema violent mm. unamaanisha abusive physical yes, ama yes physical. Do ile sasa ile verbal na hii ilikuwa inamshinda juu sasa siajui lugha eh. but when the sun is out anafanya vituko zake ataki ukae kwa living room ataki kujifungie kwa room yani tu anakusumbua ana, ana yani na shai kuchapa eh mara mingi kuna time aleni slap hapa the, the mother in law sasa eh. sasa venye nani alikuja nimwambie kenye ilifanyika hata akutaka kusikia and believe kenye namwambia so nika nikanyamazia sasa yenye iliniuma ile tu sana yenye sana ilinsist lazima tu ni anilipie ya ticket nirudi kwetu ni wanawekanga pesa kwa nyumba wazungu kuna venye siju wamechimbanga ukuta alafu mm. they keep money mm. kwa nyumba mm. ama kuna ka box yenye wanawekea pesa mm. sasa uma mother in law si venye nilikuwa hapo siku anaenda kwa room yoyote yako anataka hivyo na hata kwa room yake siku taka kuingi, mm. kuingia juu ataki mm. sasa kuna siku ali, ali, alikuwa na ni attack yani ile Unajua mimi ni mrefu na yeye ni mfupi. Anaanza kunivuta vuta, alafu sasa venye sani wake alikuja anamdanganya ati mimi nilikuwa nataka niingie kwa room yake by force mm. niende nikaibe pesa. Mm. Hata I didn't even know ati kumbe pesa wanaeka kwa nyumba mimi ndio sasa nilikuwa nasikia kwa sani wake mm. kumbe they keep money at home. Mm. At home. Sasa nikamwambia hizo vitu zote zenye mama yako amekwambia ame, ame ni uongo. So it's either you believe ama believe mama ya, mm. mama yako. So mm. bado ali believe tu mama yake. Mm. Sasa nikimwambia ataki kuelewa. Mm. Sasa hii ingine yenye sasa mama yake alikuwa anasema ati nimeenda kwa ya, ananivuta kwa room maliniko ndiye anipeleke saa kwa room yake ndio ionekane nilikuwa huko. Mm. Eh? Mm. Alafu ananithreaten na gun mama yake akonbaka na gun kwa nyumba. Alikuwa amekushikia gun. Si ndio. 
sasa ile ku scream sasa si wengine pia wangesikia wange sasa mm. ndio aka akarudisha but ile i think alikuwa anafanya ya kuni kuni threaten ni nikasema eh hapa sasa ndakuni kama ndakuja kuli kuliwa sasa huyo nani huyo kijana aka kajifanya ni mzuri aka sort out maana akaniambia ati mamake ame ameomba msamaa mm. ati ni msamee ati hivyo alifanya tu kama Sankuwa. eh mm. Sasa si maneno akajifanya ti maneno imekuwa sawa for some time karibu some weeks hivi. Acha turudi nyuma kidogo. Mm. Tuliacha kama babako pia huku Kenya anakutafuta. Eh. Umepata chance ya kuongea na babako kabla no, ya hii harusi? Siku, siku ongea na yeye. I didn't get a chance ya kuongea na any of my family member mpaka time yenyewe nilirudi Kenya sasa. Okay. Mm. Uh-huh. But my bab, my dad alikuwa na alikuwa naenda kwa embassy. Mm. Yes. So watu wat wa embassy eh. wakamwambia ti wao ndio watahandle hiyo maneno but nitarudi Kenya. Nikuulize mm. ukitreteniwa hivi ukifesi mm. vitu zote mm. Chile mm. hakuna embassy ya Kenya. Hakuna hakuna during that time hakukuwa na Chile ni, ni Kenya na embassy Chile mm. sasa. Mm. Yenye unge yenye ungeenda ya karibu ni Brazil na juu sasa ma foreign lazima tena ni nipate visa ya kwenda Brazil ama ni the US e, na ukate ticket na hivyo singeweza sasa. Mm-hmm. So ilibidi tu sasa nivumilie sasa. Mm. So after after hiyo mama yake sasa kuni threaten hivyo ati anataka kuni nimeambia kijana wake lakini kijana wake ni kama aniamini. Mm. Nika insist bado nataka kuenda ku Nataka nataka kuenda kwetu akatengeneza maneno akaniambia oh my mom is sorry nini 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 things zika, zika, ni kama zimekuwa okay for some time mpaka hiyo time tena ndio nikatoka nje for the second time mm. sasa akanitoa tukaenda kutembea kwa beach nini nini tukapiga mapicha alafu sasa unaona vinyi tulifika kwa beach hataki nionge na watu juu ile misa nilikuwa na, na simu na jaribu ila tiku type nione kama maybe naweza translate mm. oh, kumbe iwez but people wanataka wakuongeleshe mm. mm. sasa ilikuwa na watu wengi weusi huko kwa hiyo beach mm-hmm. weusi sikuona weusi ilikuwa tu ni mimi sasa unajua una attract attention ya watu wanataka wakuongeleshe sasa hiyo time jua naona watu wanataka waniongeleshe sana akaniambia ti tunarudi but nikamwambia acha ni nifanye ku swim kidogo ukinichukua ma videos na nini na picha alafu ndio tuende kwa, hmm. kwa which he did sasa vinyi nilikuwa kwa maji ye yeah, ajui ku swim na hiyo time ananifuata kwa maji sasa si ndio alafu ananisukuma sasa kwa maji ananisukuma kwa maji like anataka ni drown huko kwa si what sasa namuuliza why are you doing that? Ananiambia no it's just a play. Anamwambia that one is not a play. Kwani unataka ni nini? Ni drown huko na sijui ku swim. Ananiambia keep going, keep going like niko hapo kwa show sasa. Ananiambia tini nizidi kuenda sasa. Na kuna watu wengine around. Eh si kuna watu wengine around lakini hawatusikia wasikio conversation. Eh. Ama si anajua tunajuana na huyu so hawezi ingilia. Alafu ile si akwa naifanya in a way yenye mtu anaweza jua. Suspect. Yes. And I'm keep going some wengine hata ukiona ndafikiria unaambi uende ndio upigwe pi. Pitch ananisukuma saa kwa ma hmm. kwa maji which means alikuwa anataka maybe ni drown. Sasa tukitoka huko nilikuwa nimekasirika ile vibaya sana. Sasa juu ya think hiyo asira alafu si hiyo time sasa ilipata kama I'm expecting sasa. Nilikuwa na mimba. Eh nilikuwa na mimba. Sasa hiyo hiyo nini hiyo wiki after tumefanya nini harusi sasa si I, I missed my periods nika nikaanza kugonjeka sasa so me i didn't i didn't know i was nini i was expecting sasa sasa uko mali tulienda sasa kwa nini kwa kwa beach sasa si akanisukuma huko sana nilikuwa na hizo masira huu mtu anataka nikufe huku hataki pia niende kwetu alafu pia nilikuwa na njaa juu ya chakula mama yao hako anataka pia nikule ukikula ni shida usipokula pia ni shida sasa sijui anataka anataka je for, so for some time sikuwa na ku na kula so i think nilikuwa nimechoka na niko na, na ball pia alafu yeye pia amenikasirisha nikaenda nika collapse huko kwa beach sasa akaniambia ti ati ni stay here i'm going to look for an ambulance he didn't come back what aliniacha hapo kwa street imagine sasa unajua watu wanakuja wamekusurround wa sasa strangers ndio wakanipeleka usi sasa aliniacha hapo sasa hawajui kenye kenye meniangusha hawajui watafanya nini sina documents pia sasa si wakanipeleka OC sasa OC uwezi hudumiwa kama you are a foreigner kuna sijui sa special card yenye lazima ukue nayo ndio unahudumiwa sasa juu ilikuwa emergency na wajui ni nini imekuangusha itabidi tu sawa wata 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 nini watakuhudumia tu 
ili uamke ndio maybe we explain in Kenya ndio baada ya kesho we Sunday anakuja kunifuata hausi wananiuliza saa address mtu akili yake ilikuanga sawa ama huu ulikuwa unaona ni kama yangusha kidogo huu mtu sijui kama akili yake ilikuwa sawa yani pia hata mimi nilishinda kumwelewa juu unajua nani lean ukitaka kujua mtu lazima uishi na yeye utamjua sasa mimi ndio sasa nilikuwa kwa hiyo period saku ya kumsoma na kumjua na kumuelewa sio unaona sasa akaniacha huko strangers wamenipeleka anakuja the following day after kupatiana address kwenye nato natoka sa daktari sana anamtaipia kwa simu aina translate ndio saa wampigie simu ndio kesho we sana ku anakuja sasa na hata kikuja hata aimjalisha ati yo siju ulifika usia je yako tu sa ako tu sawa na sasa ama daktari pia si walikuwa wanajaribu ile kuni wananiuliza mbona ulianguka kwa siku kwani hauko na mtu kitu kama wakiona sama daktari wananikaribia sana ile wataki kujua ni nini inaendelea ana ana, ana ile wa cut off ana la, will handle la case nini 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 hmm. nini nini sasa nikakaa si for some time alafu nikadischargeiwa tena nikarudi home sasa akani akanipeleka hadi home sasa hiyo wiki tena tukasumbuana nikamwambia mi I don't want to stay here nataka kurudi kwe kwetu hata kama niko na mimba hata kama kuna shida gani mimi nataka kuru that is all I want kama kuna fevu unaweza nifanyia nirudishe ni, tu ni, kwetu, kwetu. akaniambia ti yo oh, if you want to go back to your country you have to pay for the air Tickets. ticket eh and your visa has also expired so so si mimi siko eh, already mimi nilikuwa najua visa imexpire kumbe alikuwa amextend extendisha so niko niko kwa hiyo country mm. but see i'm not nini the illegal yes eh nikaanza kuwa sana stress sasa nikaanza ku develop sasa depression ilianza ngasa sasa hapo sasa sasa na imagine family yango obviously how easy for their ticket ni very expensive from here to chile sasa nika nika nini nikamwambia you know very well mimi mwenye siezi afford a ticket just do do that favor for me ni nirudi kwe nirudi kwetu alafu ndio akaniambia ti anaenda kuongelesha mama yake yani mtu yani the mommy's boy kenye mama yake amesema hivyo ndo venye atafa, ata, ana, ata, atafanya na kila kitu yenye hata pesa zake anafanyia kazi lakini ni mama yake ndio anamanage hata financially Saizo unajua si bado tumeendelea kuishi saa mimba inaelekea 4 months sasa. The first time alijaribu kuambia mama yake mama yake alikataa. Akamwambia ti kama watu wakwetu wanataka ni unirudi wanibaie ya ticket ni wanibukie ndege ni rudi kwetu. Akakata. Sasa hiyo ndio Kenya nilikuwa nafanya na insist I want to go back to my hata sikuli sifanyi anything. Sasa mama yake na mimba. Yes, mama yake akaona it's like na mabodha sana. Wakanitoa saa kwa main house sasa wakanipeleka kwa one of the rental sasa sasa nilikuwa nakaa huko peke yangu sasa jua naona namsumbua and hizi ni miezi saa ngapi ujaongelesha family yako sasa si ni four months four sasa good months yes wow. na niko na mimba pia wazazi wangu pia wajie <laughs> nilifika ama siku pika juu sijaongea nao eh. sasa nika the, sasa the worst thing yenye walifanya niliniuma sana wananitoa hapo at least maluneza ona hata alafu unaweza unaenda kufungiwa tena kwa room nyingine sasa so ukae huko peke yako na simu pia una si kama ile time yenye i could reach people you niko na password na phone niko nao simu umechuko, imechukuliwa sasa sasa niko tu huko uletewe chakula ukule ukose kukula waja wafunge mlango yes uwezi pigia pia polisi huko yani ilikuwa ngumu sana ikabidi kuna time sasa nika nikamwongelesha nikamwambia hii sasa nataka nionge tu mimi na wewe usiende ukaambie mama just release me nirudi kwetu alafu sasa ni, ni, from nini from nikiwa kwetu sasa si tutakuwa tuna communicate at least tupatie mama kwa some time tuone kama maybe ata change ama ata change you si sasa na ile na mpasit eh ndio ani aniakubali sasa hivyo ndio nilimwongelesha kakuba ulikuwa scared eh nilikuwa scared sasa so, hiyo kufungiwa ndio sasa nilikuwa nasema ah watu sasa ujua nafikiria nini juu hiyo sasa kufungiwa ujui kama maybe the next minute anakuja ni ile akushoot sasa ile reel sasa ukufe juu alikuwa ashani threaten sasa venye nilikuwa nimekaa hapo nikam sweet talk akaniambia ati i will talk to my mom bado tu ananiambia ati i will talk to my mom hmm. ika take time karibu one week hivi sasa ndio sasa hiyo siku yenye nilikuwa nakuja sasa Kenya mimi sikujua ni ile tu sana nilikuwa naomba aki Mungu waguze tu waguze tu ni release nitoke hapa haya hiyo siku yenye sasa sijui venye waliongea na mama yake kumbe amebukende amebukende na mimi ajaniambia tinaenda kwetu mm. naenda mm. kwetu 
sasa kama amebuku ndege kama like two days ago ananiambia kama leo hivi venye tumeka at you know what you are going back to your country are you happy now namwambia of course i'm happy si hiyo sasa hiyo excitement sasa akanifungulia akani mlango na mimi nikatoka mbio nikaenda kwa main house niende ni pack vitu za kwenda huko napata already kila kitu imeshapaki imeshapakiwa mm. sasa ni ile aite gari nini taxi sasa tu tuende kwa airport sasa eh mimi hata sikujali ati ile ati kumuliza oh sijui niko na mimba so, sijui tu si lazima mm. tuonge before ni toke mm. lazima tuonge uniambie mm. it's, utafanya hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi atukuongea na hata msiku muona kama anataka tuonge but mimi nilikuwa nataka nirudi ke, mm. nirudi Kenya sasa venye tu ali nini ali taxi tukaenda mpaka kwa airport sasa sasa uko kwa airport venye tuliela si tumetumia taxi amelipa taxi akanibwaga hapo sasa sasa hapo kulikuwa tena na shida. Ju hao wanaangalia hizo documentation zote zenye alifanya za za ku extend visa alikuwa amebaki nayo. Mimi sasa hivi niko na passport. Sasa wakiangalia passport wanao visa yako ilisha expire which means you have to explain. Na pia uko na mi na mimba si ukikuja huko na <laughs> Ilikuwa shida. So kali nika nini? <laughs> nika nikanyamaza for some time juu hata nashindwa nitaanzia wapi juu au kwa alafu wako rude so alikubwaga ya kaenda zake si yasha kuacha wacha kwa airport sasa uende kwenu hakuna pocket money hakuna hakuna hakunipatia anything Kenya nilikuwa nimebeba kwa suitcase yangu ilikuwa ni manguo zangu zenye nilitoka nazo Kenya nikikuja na passport yangu sasa nilikuwa na shida kwa hiyo airport yao juu wanaona visa yangu ni kama ilisha expire of which but ali extend mm. ni hizo papers ndio wanataka wao mm. waone so si rahisi pia ni release pia ni ru, ni rudi so ananiambia to you are here illegally nini 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 ni, ni, nikamwambia i'm not able to explain how it happened let me give you an, nini namba ya mtu mwenye alini host ndio sasa m, m, nini mumpigie si akupigiwa simu sasa si unajua hiyo ni time tunabai sasa hapo sasa imebaki karibu sijui wana au alafu ni bot eh. mm. sasa anapigiwa simu ashiki mara ana, 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 anasema na letter papers mara aleti sasa we are not sure na pia mia huku niko worried nili, nilishafurai na rudi na hivi tena na, anakata na papers haki nilikuwa nalia ile polisi anakuangalia anakurumia but sasa ajui atakuongelesha aje but i was very bitter sasa After some time sasa siji ni Mungu tu. Sasa ni kama walio, waliongea maybe kwa simu waka wakaelewana sasa. Alafu baadaye ndio anakuja na papers ka already mimi nilisha nilisha board sasa. Sasa wananiambia wana timu mwenye mwenye unatafuta alisha amesha board ndege si sasa yeye akarudi sasa. Mm. Venye nili board tu hiyo ndege hiyo nilisema Mungu sitawai. <laughs> sitawai tena tinatoka hapa tinarudi chile nilikuwa na bad experience sit hata mtu akiniambia nataka kwenda chile namwambia wewe enda tu mimi sitawahi kanyaga huko tena venye nilifika tu kwa hapo tv nilikuwa na mixed inaitwa mixed mixed, mixed feeling. feelings yes ile umefurahi yes umefika but nikikumbuka tena sina sina pesa yoyote sasa una umetoka no, majuu aki aki nilikuwa na yani sijui ni sema aje ilikuwa ni aibu You, akuna venye uta you know venye ke, Kenyans tuna tunapendana alafu there's a way they wanna receive at their their own wakitoka ngambo yani wamefurahi they want to talk to you wanakuuliza unaenda wapi utatumia taxi ama nini so unajua people are approaching me sasa au watu wa taxi sasa tumeshani need nimeshachukua nguo zangu So anakuwa unaenda wapi? So nipe hiyo kazi like akubebe wa kupeleke kwenye unaenda. Mimi huko nalia. Nalia na ni, nimechoka pia juu ni a long trip na uko na ball pia, so unaona. Nalia mpaka saa ile watu wanaanza saku kukusanyika kwa airport sasa wataki kujua kwani kuna nini umbomba mbona huyu analia? Analia. Nikasema eh hapa itabidi tu nimejika. Nimejikaza juu pia si kwa nataka mimi ni mtu napenda ku, ku kunini kufunika sana vitu sitaki ku expose sana mm, mm. sasa au mataxi nika approach mo mmoja nikamwambia ibu kuja sasa si akakuja nikamwambia nilikuwa nataka nimwambie the whole story nikaonita take time na ninalia pia 
Sasa nikamwambia ukweli yenye iko, yes nimetoka ngambo lakini hata fea ya kunitoa hapa imagine sina. So ulikuwa enda Kibra. Ah sasa ndio hasa ndio nalia juu nafikiria nitaenda Kibera ama nitaenda kwetu Kisumu ama nitaenda wapi. So namwambia yenyewe ni fea ndio sina ndio hata unaona ukiniuliza naenda wapi ndio maana nali nali aki huyo mtu aliguzwa. Sasa si anarudi kwao ma taxi au wenzake pia ati ule ule dem anasema ana ana do bana si sasa tuamsaidia aje wakaongea wao wenyewe mimi hata sijui pesa ilitoka wapi one of them akaniambia ati sasa basi kuna venye tunaweza kukusaidia basi utoke hapa kwa airport nikufikishe basi malone na mwambie si nilikwambia ni shida ya pesa ndio sina ati wewe usija we usijali hapo ndio tena nikakuwa na stress sana juu na nashindwa sasa yes sasa nitatoka hapa airport na nitaenda wa nitaenda wapi juu nikipiga tu picha ya kibera na na venye narudi yani kuna tu venye tu expectations ex, ex, expectations yes alafu natoka ngambo ati hauna kakitu si unajua huku Kenya tunasema kakitu alafu na tena uko na ball na tena unarudi kwa hiyo single room ya baba yako ilikuwa ni aibu sasa huu taxi yes tushatoka nje ya nini nje ya nje ya airport sasa ananiuliza na madam sasa kwenye unaenda ndio use useme namwambia ati niko baba yangu ako kibere lakini size yako job <laughs> na, na na pia ananiambia nipenda mbaya baba yako tumpigi hiyo tum, pia star staki juu baba yangu yes atakuwa excited but tena tinarudi kibera hao alafu itabidi unajua babangu ni ile anatakanga ajuu ajuu anakuchimba yani ndo umwambie anatakanga kujua si wa kunyamaza kama mamu. Mm. sasa nikamwambia ati unajua ni mimi naona tu nipeleke hizi kote <laughs> alafu nibukie gari niende usha ushago ananiuliza tena ushago umetoka kwa hiyo long trip tena useme tu unaenda ushago nikamwambia sasa si itabidi ananiambia ati si utafute hata hoteli basi hapa tao chipu lale ndio kesho we nikamwambia ati hapana akaniambia basi kwa hiyo pesa yenyewe tulikuwa tumesanya sanya ni kama nimekubeba bure basi juu walikuwa wamesanya ndio wape huu mmoja anibebe hmm. akanibukia sasa tena easy coach tena sasa from the airport hiyo two days umechoka mugu ilikuwa imefura hivi ana uh, tuka book tena easy coach tena na hiyo bag yangu akilikuwa ni aibu juu si unajua suitcase iko na hizo tag za nini za airport eh za airport so wanashangaa huyu kwani yani ni vipi ametoka hapo tena napanda easy coach anaenda anaenda kisumu anaenda kisumu huyu ni mtu mwenye ako hata anaweza afford hata kama ni nini kakab eh impeleke tu hadi kisu kisumu sasa sinika nika 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 bukiwa gari nika nikaenda hadi Kisumu sasa sikuambia mtu yeyote sasa simu yangu venye nilikuja si, si, nini safari kwa kumbe hiyo time ilikuwa wana take time kunini ku, ku block lines zenye zijafanya sana yeah. so venye bado nilieka hiyo simu card nikaona bado inafa nikanunua tu air time peke yake na inafa inafanya so uh, sasa venye niko kwa gari hivi naenda hocha ndio sana pigia dad sasa ati Dad unajua nini? Mimi ni ni, ni Lucy jina langu ya home ni Lucy. Mm. Ati unajua niko Kenya. Babangu unajua kuamini. Uko Kenya aje? Ulikuja lini? Unaenda wapi? Uko wapi sasa hizo? Sasa babangu akatoka tu kazi immediately sasa hizo. Mm. Mm. Anataka anafikiria ati bado niko Nairobi kumbe mimi nisha board gari naenda naenda Kisumu. Kisumu. Sasa kufika rana niambia ati niko tao wewe uko wapi? Namwambia pana nimekuwa nimekujulisha tu nimekuja lakini nimechukua gari tena naenda usha ushago ushago sasa si nikafika home ushago sasa yes. kisumu hey nakwambia huko <laughs> nice sasa uko home ile ile pride yenye maybe kama ulikuwa nayo at least inashuka shuka kiasi mm. juu uko home mm. sasa sasa si nikashuka na suitcase yangu kama kawaida huyo <laughs> mtaka alinipatia tu 100 cc sahau eh. akaniambia ati hii unaweza kunywa kwa hata kasoda na alafu si utajipanga tu sasa unajua hmm. siku kula kitu kwa barabara hiyo miambili nilikuwa nayo hiyo miambili ndio nikachukua ga, nini pikipiki sasa hmm. ikanifungia suitcase nikaenda hadi home sasa kisumu sasa si ndio acha tuchukue break kidogo so, <laughs> i know guys we want to listen to this story mpaka from the beginning to the end bila kuharakisha guest wetu so allow me to end it here for our first episode but make sure you tune in to part 2 of this story which will air in the next few hours
Thank you.